Eat, Relax with me, Josie Fletcher. This is my favourite time of year where family pop in at a moment's notice and friends are organising drinks parties and food always seems to be the key point of any occasion. So it's a really good idea to have some really simple canapes up your sleeve. Stilton and chorizo. Remove the skin from the chorizo and slice into rounds about one centimetre thick. Pile your chorizo into your hot pan. Try and make sure there's an even layer so every piece of chorizo is touching the pan and then we'll get a nice colour on it. We want this to go brown and crispy on both sides. Remove from the pan and place on some kitchen towel until completely cold. Divide the stilton evenly so each piece of chorizo has a piece on top. Trio of creamy bruschetta bites. Start by mixing the yoghurt and mayo together in a bowl with the juice of the lemon. This will form the base for all of the bruschetta. Divide the mixture into three bowls. Finally chop your spring onions and your parsley and shred your chicken and pop it all into the bowl. Now this is such an easy canapé because it's non-cooked. I bought the chicken breast pre-cooked from the supermarket. It wasn't very expensive and way easier than doing it myself when I've got loads of friends coming round. And what's also brilliant is that you use the same base for three different canapé toppings. Now add the prawns to a bowl of dressing. Finally chop the chilli and coriander and pop that in as well. Now zest and juice the lime into the bowl and mix well together. So a really easy veggie alternative would be to just grate some cheese, anything, this is just cheddar, slice some chives and slice some grapes, put it into the base and mix it all in together. Now it's time to plate up. And lastly, apple, hazelnut and salted caramel biscuits. Peel your apples and cut into quarters and then half each quarter, removing the core as you do it. Okay, we're gonna start by just cooking our apples a tiny little bit. We don't want them to be mushy or horrible or anything, but we also don't want them to have a raw bite to them. So we've popped about 25 grams of butter in this saucepan here, and we're gonna pile in the apples and pretty much kind of just warm them through really. And while that's happening, we're going to make our caramel. In a nice, good quality non-stick frying pan, pop in 125 grams of butter. This is going to be the base to our caramel. It's very, very naughty, I know. Now the butter's melted, sprinkle over your sugar, 125 grams, and try and sprinkle it nice and evenly over the top of the melted butter. Keep it on the heat and keep an eye on it. But whatever you do at this stage, do not move your pan. It is really, really important that you don't move your pan because that will crystallise your caramel and it won't work. And we're going to let that sugar heat through and melt and you'll see it start to go golden and the beautiful brown of a caramel will start to come through. Pop the heat up now. Really keep a close eye because if it starts to burn it's not going to taste very nice. As soon as you start to see some golden edges appear then you can start shaking it a little bit and make sure it doesn't stick. I'm going to watch it like a hawk now. Okay, this is where you really need to keep an eye on it because it will change really quickly. It will feel like it's taking forever and then all of a sudden you'll have caramel and it may well burn. So you can see, it's oh, you can smell it. It's just starting to come together. So you can give it a little shake now. Okay, that smells delicious, but be really, really careful because it will burn. So now we're going to pour in our double cream nice and quick, 200 mils. Try not to be too scared of it. And mix it in.
That looks really, really delicious, but whatever you do, don't touch it because it's like lava at the moment. I'm gonna pop our chopped hazelnuts into the pan. Be really careful because it is so hot. Sprinkle in three quarters of a teaspoon of really good quality rock salt. Now that might sound like a lot, but it's not salted caramel if you don't add the salt. And then we're gonna tip in our cooked apples. And there we have it. Now we're allowed to put a spoon in it. This is our salted caramel and hazelnut sauce. And we're gonna let it cool down slowly. We're not gonna rush it. Keep giving it a little stir from time to time. And then we're gonna pile it on top of little amaretti biscuits and it's gonna taste so good. Gently spoon some apple, hazelnut and caramel on top of each little amaretti biscuit and you're ready to serve. So the canapes have been demolished, my guests have had a great night, but most importantly I've spent the evening in here with them and not cooking in the kitchen. So give these simple canapes a try, you won't be disappointed. But for now, I've cooked, this lot have eaten, now it's time for me to relax. Merry Christmas everybody!